Hi, Denise here with Shea S and welcome to our kitchen. Today we are going to be making a homemade creamy stovetop macaroni and cheese. The ingredients that you're going to need for the recipe today are Dream Fields elbow pasta, whole milk, unsalted butter, flour, you're going to need a sharp cheddar as well as a mild cheddar, shallots, garlic, and broccoli. The first step to making your homemade creamy mac and cheese is to blanch some broccoli. To start that, I like to cut off the stem, cut off the very tips of the broccoli so you have little flowers. When you're ready to blanch the broccoli, I like to use the same pot of water that I'm also going to be cooking my pasta in. So what I do is put a fine mesh colander inside the boiling pot of water. I put the broccoli in it. After blanching the broccoli, you want to make sure to stop the cooking process by cooling it off with some cold water. You want your broccoli to still be crunchy when you mix it with the mac and cheese. So that's why we're going to blanch it instead of steaming it. Okay, the first step to making your creamy, cheesy sauce is to chop up some shallots and garlic. So I'm using a medium-sized shallot, and after I'm done mincing it, it will equal about a half a cup of shallot. When I cook with garlic, fresh garlic, I like to use um, a little salt in the garlic and just make a nice, smooth paste. Next, we're gonna make a bechamel sauce, and I first put butter in the pot and then stir it over medium heat until it lightly melts. After the butter melts, I add the shallots and I cook them until they're slightly soft, which takes three to five minutes depending on how hot your stove is. While the shallots are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and start grating the cheese. So once the shallots are soft, I go ahead and add the garlic paste. I like to add the garlic paste at the very end of cooking the shallots or onions and before adding my other ingredients. Because you don't want the garlic to burn or the flavor won't be enhanced. Then I add a pinch of chili flakes and you can add more or less depending on the heat of your dish that you prefer. I go ahead and add in some flour. Then I go ahead and add my milk. After my bechamel is thickened, I like to season it with a little Malden salt. Again, just a pinch to bring out the flavor and a pinch of fresh black pepper. So the next step after your bechamel is ready is to start adding the cheese. I like to add it just by handfuls. And remember, this is supposed to be creamy, cheesy stovetop mac and cheese. So don't be shy, add a lot. Okay, let's move on to cooking our pasta. You're gonna use the same water that you blanched your broccoli in. Just add about two teaspoons of salt. Okay. And then add the pasta. So after I drain the pasta, I go ahead and start adding it to the cheesy, cheesy bechamel sauce. After I've stirred the pasta in, I go ahead and add our broccoli. So that's it. Now you have a big pot of creamy mac and cheese.